Meaning if you pay somebody else to make this demo for you, make sure that you, you with your own knowledge and skill set in your own home studio can replicate the sound quality of that demo. Yeah. Because naturally that's what the client's going to be mm -hmm. expecting. Yeah. So that is another reason why I say create your own demos in the beginning, because obviously you can replicate that quality, right? And then as you get better and better and better, <clears throat> excuse me, then you can work with a coach and or somebody to help you produce demos, because more than likely at that point, you might be able to replicate that sound quality. But that is the most important thing. Whichever way you do decide to go, just make sure that mm -hmm. that what you put forth to the client is what they will be receiving. That's because that's what they're expecting to hear. Right. Makes sense. Good point. Yeah. Okay. I just, that was a baby tangent. And it was just a little 